Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Well, it's early, early, early Friday morning. I'm on my way home on an overnight flight from Seattle back to Cleveland. Just spent the, this week at the Microsoft MVP Summit, which is fabulous because there were 32 Excel experts there, plus experts in Word, PowerPoint, and all of the Office products. Now, it's great to get to see all these people and catch up, but the beautiful thing is that we spent a lot of time with the folks at Microsoft who are already busy working on Office 14, which will come out maybe in 2009 and 2010. Some of the things that I complain about in the new version of Excel, they're already working on fixing. They might even have a service release in about a year fixing some of the cool problems. But it was great to see what they're planning, and it's really going to be a great evolution of Excel. Excel definitely is not finished. They have many more ideas to come. Now, we have a question today that was sent in by George. George has some data over in column A. And this data happens to have leading spaces, but it also has interior spaces. So George said, if I use edit replace to get rid of all the leading spaces, it's also going to get rid of that interior space. He wanted to get rid of the leading spaces, but leave the interior space. So my solution to this is I have to insert a new column between column A and the data. And I'm going to use a function that Excel has called the trim function, equal trim. Trim of A1 will take the leading space out, but leave single interior spaces in. Now, if you would happen to have, for example, the letters A, B, C, and then space, 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 D, E, F, trim will take those three spaces and reduce it down to one space, uh, but it also takes the leading and trailing spaces out. So I'll copy that data down. Now, we need to copy and paste special values, of course. So my trick for that is to right-click, drag it over, let go, and say, copy here as values only. I can now delete column B, and we're good to go. Now, for the next couple of weeks, I have something special. While I was in Seattle, I would approach various people and say, hey, could you come up with a two-minute tip in Excel? And so I, for the next 10 podcasts, have guest podcasters to show you their favorite tips. You'll see a variety of people, either people that you know that because they run their blogs, like Dick from Daily Dose of Excel, or people who are writing books, like Bob Umless. Be sure to watch over the next couple of weeks to see all of these experts with their favorite tips. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.